so you have protection around you, okay? A lot of protection around you. With so much energy swirling everywhere in the city and everywhere around the world, it doesn't hurt to add an extra layer of, of protection magic before you leave your apartment or your home. So, okay. A cloak of protection can come in many simple forms. A circle of a blue light, an onyx, a black tourmaline, rosemary, or protection oil made under the moon in Scorpio. A black hat, a prayer to your angels. You are protected. So, Spirit is saying you guys are very much protected at this time, um, but it wouldn't hurt like if you leave your um, apartment or your home. Um, Spirit is saying, you know, to just make sure you, you know, if you're into crystals, you know, put your crystals, um, wear your crystals. Um, if you have a black hat, they say it also a black hat as well. Um, protection oil would be good as well. Okay. So, first part out is protection. Give me more Holy Spirit. Protection. <clears throat> Spirit is saying, let your light shine. Let your light shine. Yeah, let your light shine. It's on, it's on. It's like you light up the room, you light up wherever you walk in, so you just light it up. Okay, somebody with this protection, the first part coming out. Uh, somebody could be trying to dim your light. Mm, somebody could have been trying to dim your light for the for the first part to be protection. I seen it earlier when I was shuffling the deck, but for it to come back out, and it says on, let your light shine. Yeah. So somebody who's very dark, you know, could be intimidated by your light. You know, but what's new? Okay. And still make sure you shine your light. It says, be your bright, bold, beautiful self. Look, it says, don't dim your light for anyone. And intuitively, I already felt that with the protection card coming out first. Well, let your light shine. Yeah, somebody was somebody dark. <laughs> because, you know, the light, the light give people their flowers. The light love to see people shining. You know, um, you could take this candle and, and, and you could have five or six other candles up here and you can light each one of them candles and your light still won't go out. But you know, that light, <laughs> if anybody intimidated by your light, if somebody doesn't like that you shine your light, best to believe you gotta know what side they reside on, okay? It says, don't dim your light for anyone. You deserve to shine. Find what truly lights you up and let it guide you. Be a beacon for others. I love it. Give me more Holy Spirit. Don't you make sure you don't dim your light, sun so you shine, okay? <clears throat> and make sure you're protecting yourself, okay? Even though you must you're very much protected, you also can help, you know. You don't help your own your spirit to see the most high the divine as well by, you know, making sure you stay covered. So we have the bodega cat. Yeah, the portal. So there's a portal. Something could be some um, importance about the um, the A8 portal that we just had. Somebody could be a tattoo artist, a painter. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be, oh, who's that? The messenger, beach day. Everything is temporary, and I'm mean, this person is getting a tattoo. Like I said, somebody could be a tattoo artist, a painter. Um, but you know, when you get tattoos, is you know, it's, um, it's painful. I'm just reading them intuitively. Um, so you know, if you feel any type of pain right now, spirit is saying it's only temporary. Okay. 
Yeah, you're about to receive um, a message. It could be um, we're receiving a lot of, um, you know, getting messages from this download, you know, from this reading. But Spirit is saying something about with this portal. Like I said, we just had the 8 8 portal. I feel like, um, yeah, with this feather down here. Yes, your ancestors, um, there's a door that's open for you. Mm -hmm. What this community is giving me, like Soul Tribe, um, you know, the divine is align, aligning you with people, you know, for your highest good. Um, people that shine, that's in their purpose, as well as you. People who are like minded like you. People who have ascended. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like um, you're being led and guided. Um, you know, it's like your community is coming in. And you see this white candle? It's like everybody, you know, even though it's shadows, but I feel like um, whoever you are, all of these people, light, is, light shines as well, too. Okay? Um... Okay, but um, Bodega Cat, you've been blessed by a Bodega Cat, a friend, a familiar Bodega Cat is the guardian of the shop. They rest quietly on top of produce or unfazed by customers <laughs> pursuing the assholes for last minute ingredients for tomorrow's lunch. Bo Bodega Cat signifies independence, protection, and connection with animals. This is a reminder to march to the beat of your own drum and follow your instincts. So there could be a Bodega Cat. Okay, maybe you live somewhere, you know, if you, are, if you know anything about up north, you know, the bo there's always a cat in a Bodega. Um, or this could just be a cat somewhere in your community. Okay, you could be seeing a lot of um, cats or especially black cats. Okay, but um, the Bodega, the Bodega cat um, is, is for some of you guys, this cat is your guardian. <laughs> okay, um, this is someone who's watching over you. Um, it also um, signifies independence and protection. For some of you guys, you have a strong connection with cats. You can be a cat owner, okay? For others of you guys, you can be seeing a lot of cats in your area, in your neighborhood, okay? It also says they rest quietly on top of produce and are unfazed by customers pursuing the assholes. So I feel like um, if this is a community where you are, a community, a work situation, you know, take it how it resonates in your situation. I feel like you're unfazed by, you know, anything that's around you um, that could be possibly trying to dim your light. You're unfazed by it. Um, you're very much protected with this independence. Maybe you, um, you know, maybe you work alone. Um, maybe you don't deal with a lot of people. Uh, <clears throat> but with this portal, I feel like Spirit is aligning you with people like-minded like you. People that you can connect with that, you know, you don't have to worry about no one's trying to dim your light, you know? Give me, can give me more, give me more. Yeah, look at this, 11, 11. The universe is definitely on your side. The universe has your back. So, like I said, if you're experiencing anything right now, just know that um, that is just temporary. <clears throat> you guys could uh, um, definitely experience a, a awakening. Maybe you guys um, just went through an awakening. It says 11-11, synchronicities. Signs that you are on the right path. Pay attention to repeating numbers and how you feel when you see them. Let them guide you forward and serve as confirmation that you are making steady progress and headed in the perfect direction. Right. Sorry, so I see it is Mercury retrograde. 
Okay, communication, like, with it all Okay, it says, let them guide you forward and serve as confirmation that you are making steady progress and headed in the perfect direction. Your guys are getting your attention. Notice the numbers that repeat and assign meaning to them. So you guys could be seeing a lot of repeated numbers, uh, um, a lot. Definitely 1111. You could be seeing um, 111, 101, 333, 222, 444, 88. Yeah. Also with the bodega and the community where I'm looking at it, if you're in a community, an environment, um, this could be anything, you know, work situation, family setting. Um, but with the community, like wherever you surround yourself at on a daily basis, you need to know that you're very protected there, okay? With the 1111 being here, the divine has your whole back. The divine is definitely backing you up on whatever, <laughs> okay? So with this bodega cat being here in this community, you're very much protected. Um, you could be feeling the changes of you. Um, you could have definitely gone through this door, um, walked through this 8 8 portal. Okay, you could definitely be feeling the changes. The Spirit is saying that everything is on the up the up. You're on the right path. You could definitely be seeing the number 222 a lot. But Spirit wants you to know that you're on the right path, okay? Everything is on the up the up. You're protected. You know, um, if you feel any type of way, most likely from what the cards look like to me, that is not your energy. That is not your energy. Someone um, is trying to project the energy to you, you know? Yeah, the altar, the altar and level up. So yeah, the, yeah. you can be seeing one, um, 100. Yeah, but the altar and level up, your ancestors want you to know you're about to get a, a level up, okay? A whole new beginning. A whole new beginning. That's confirmation for someone, okay? Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more the community and hold me. I can't make it up. Yeah. You're very, very, very protected. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, you could work independently, you could do something on your own, but you about to level up, okay? Something about this AE portal, okay? So be expecting, you know, great things to come in. The universe is about to bless you abundantly, okay? Uh, with that 100 we see, you definitely getting a new beginning. A new beginning is definitely here for you. And it's a major level up. And the, um, the 100 come after the 99. So you could have definitely, um, you know, wrapped some things up, closed some cycles out. Um, you know, you could definitely um, was getting prepared um, to embrace a new chapter in your life. Yeah, it's this portal that you walk through. You walk through. Mm -hmm. So you could have definitely had let go a lot of people or, you know, pe people could have fell out your life or, you know, things were just, you know, it's not, it's like not resisting, you know, whatever the change is, you know, um, whatever fell out your life, it was supposed to fall out because you got a new beginning here. Like I said, you could have be seeing a number nine, nine, but that speaks about, um, you know, wrapping things up, closing, you know, closing things out. It also speaks about death and rebirth. Um, it's time to start a new chapter and what's behind it is the 100. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look under the bottom. Spirit said, enjoy the ride. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Give me one more for Bodega Cat Community Level Up. I like these cards. They're so pretty and colorful. I should get my other thing out of mine. Oh, these colorful too. Give me one more for Community Bodega Cat Level Up. So this is just confirmation for someone, okay? If you're going through anything, Spirit is saying that's just temporary. Okay, push through. You got the whole universe on your side, okay? Yep. A new day. What is that joy coming the moment? <laughs> Anything is possible. Yeah. 
Do we send a lot of birds, birds or messages? Um, but spirit is saying, look how the sun is shining on this new day. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what new day is about. A new day. Yeah, I feel like new day is a brand new beginning. <laughs> it says the city is quiet and still waking up. The sun breaks out over the skyline and eliminates the city, creating reflections on the buildings and a gorgeous sunrise. You are here in the dawning of a brand new day. This is a gift of possibilities lie before you. This is a time to set intentions what will you do with this fresh new start? There's always a sunrise, even after the darkest night. So, this full moon, you guys can definitely, um, you know, release the things. You know, the full moon speaks about releasing. It can be, you know, manifested. But whatever you need to release and let go of, um, Spirit is saying, <laughs> today will definitely be the perfect day to do that. Okay, just make sure you're setting your... Um, you know, setting clear intentions on what you want and what you no longer want in your life. You know, um, Spirit is saying you're being blessed with a brand new beginning. Okay, so embrace that. Anything else on the Spirit? Anything else you want to collect the sun piece to know? Anything about this portal, the portal? Ew, a level up. Levity. Let's clear about that. Levity, it's like another level up. Yeah, it's giving like, um, you had to be patient. Yeah, it's like, this is like fire escape. But for me, in Tunisia, it's like you had to, you had to take the, you know, the necessary steps. Because you know there's no elevator to success. Yeah, so it's like you had to be patient. You, you know, you took the steps that, that was necessary, you know. Being obedient, because if you, whatever you've been wishing for, whatever you've been uh, wanting, the the level of uh, comes with your obedience. Like that miracle is attached to your obedience. That's what I'm getting. Let's 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 clarify. <laughs> Okay, so it says. Okay, levity, play, fun, joy, lifting, lightness, rise above the mist, while out, while out running errands, something, ooh, something glitches and catches your eye, bubble flows upwards above the busy streets, passing the buildings and they fade into the sky. This sight transforms every city life into something fun and playful. It's like a, it's like, I'm sorry, it's a little like smiling at a stranger and spreading joy. Hmm. It don't hurt nothing to be kind, spread love, you know, make it someone else day. It's giving like that childlike spirit. It says bubble floats upwards above the busy streets, past the buildings and they fade into the sky. This insight transforms everyday city life into something fun and playful. It's a little like smiling at a stranger, spreading joy. So something, you could have even felt like you was in a bubble, but there's some type of fun or excitement that's headed your way. Um, I'm, I'm also picking up internally, uh, it's like, um, enjoy the journey, you know, embrace the present where you're at right now. You can't go back to the past, you can't go to the future because you're not in the future yet. Like, wherever you're at right now, make the most of it, okay? Find joy in the journey, you know? Don't let someone dim your light, okay? And you could be just doing that. You could be someone who's just be grateful for the little things. You know, little things make you happy. Little things make you bubbly. <laughs> little things make you feel good. And that light on you, baby. Ooh, that light, that childlike spirit of yours. Um... <clears throat> You know, you having this playful energy about you, not taking life serious, you know. You know, people might feel some type of way. I feel like I want to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to 
sleeves. <clears throat> but luck is on your side. Luck is celebrate your wins. Luck is on your side. Spirit is saying, celebrate your wins, okay? Well, let's, let's pull from the side. Oh, these cards are so freaking pretty. You guys could be traveling. Yeah, I said you, you could be seeing the number 2-2. Two, two. I don't even know if people still take taxis. Okay, um, where you guys at? Because I know there's a lot of Uber and Lyft, but it's 2-2 two, two on this taxi. Okay. You guys could be traveling. You guys could be moving. Maybe you found a state, a country, or somewhere where you feel like you belong there. A place that you love. I cannot make this crap. I cannot make this up. Everything what I felt and what I knew. It says candle magic and look behind candle magic projections. What was I telling you on a reading? What was I telling you throughout the reading? Somebody, somebody trying to dim your light and project the energy onto you. And anybody that's ever intimidated by the light, you don't need no damn cards. You don't need no. You intuitively, you should already pick if, if you know. If somebody's intimidated by your light, you already know what side they reside on. Okay, and for some of you, it's so damn clear and obvious anyway. But it says candle magic and projection. Okay, so someone is doing candle magic. Okay, could be using this moon, um, but it's not going to work. It's too protected. Nothing, nothing like that is ever going to work. Okay, it's not going to work. You're too high vibrational. Okay, you're too sensitive for that. Okay, but. You could, you know, spirit always going to make you aware of things. You need to know that, okay? So we have candy magic and projections. Everything what I was saying and reading, what I already felt. And with this tattoo, it says everything is temporary. So if you feeling some type of way, spirit is saying it's temporary, okay? What you seek is seeking you. And dress shop magic. Somebody could like the dress store. Dress shop magic. And the dress shop is usually like, you know, vintage clothing, antique items, stuff like that. Yeah, whoever's doing this magic or whatever, it won't work anyway, but this could be somebody who could be doing it for a while. I don't know. <clears throat> Whoever they are, um, like I said, you know, you got light and you got dark in the world. <clears throat> and that's with anything, you know. If you're watching me, for a lot of you guys who are watching me, I mean, I would think you're spiritual. But a lot of guys, you could be traditional, you know, everybody, whatever you believe in, you know. But um, it's light and the dark to everything, you know. But that's the du duality of life. You need both. Okay, just don't don't be out here dimming your light because somebody else, yeah the sun card don't be out here dimming your light because yeah the sun card to the page of wands very beautiful, very beautiful, very inspirational, very creative. Your light shines, baby. Look at this, I can't make it up. The sun to the star, baby, you shine. And look at this, five of swords. What's, and people jealous of that. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Let's just give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. Thank you. So we have the King of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles, the Shrimp card. Amazing energy, beautiful energy. So you're very two of cups. Okay. Um somebody has any emotions and their feelings about you. The King of Cups to the Two of Cups to the Shrimp card, the Nine of Pentacles. You could be very single, very independent. Um, do things to learn alone, um, work alone, you could be single, but it's, you know, um, you know, someone who's very grounded, very level-headed, um, do very well for yourself. The strength card, you're very strong, very courageous, very brave. You got a lot of willpower. You're very different. You're very unique. You don't mind standing out. And you see this infinity overhead. Yeah. Uh, we have the two of cups. Like, uh, some, what's this? The magician, 
the Knight of Swords, the Fool card, the Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Oh, sure. Um, somebody in the emotions about you. The King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Shrimp card, Nine of Pentacles. We got the Water Sign, Fire Sign, Energy out here. Somebody is in the feelings about you. Okay, this could be a divine counterpart with 1111 being here. Okay. This could be somebody who wants a family with you, with the community. Maybe this person sees you as um, very loyal. Um, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Somebody could be wanting to build with you. So let's 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 go. Give me more Holy Spirit. Let's give me more energy. <clears throat> Whoever this this person is, they could be in a feeling. They could be definitely broken hearted. Because I see the two, um three of swords. Yeah, the seven of swords here, six of cups, eight of wands. So somebody from your past who was very tricky, deceptive. Um, four of cups. Yeah, you high priestess, you could be uninterested. Maybe your intuition told you something about this person. Um, and you could be deciding not to, you know, work with this person. What's the seven of swords energy? Yeah, because we did see candle magic and projection. Somebody could be trying to project something onto you. The seven of swords energy, yeah, king of wands. King of wands, high priestess. What's this King of Wands energy? King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, that's Aquarius. King of Wands, Fire Sign. <sighs> Something could be about today. What's the Seven, what's the seven of Swords, King of Wands? Thank you. So we have the Chariot. I feel like you're moving on. You moving on from someone? The chariot kiss the energy? What's the chariot? You're moving on. Maybe you decided to work by yourself. You could have rejected this energy. The fool in reverse. The queen of swords in reverse. Somebody feels like a damn fool. They feel like a, they, they fumbled you. And the queen of swords in reverse is somebody who's bitter as hell. Who's mean. Nasty. You know, don't like to see nobody win. Like, mm -mm. this is a bitter ass person, and they a liar. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a liar. This could be man or female. They a liar. If somebody feels like a fool and they bitter, okay, it could be possibly trying to attack you because of your life. It's a bitter ass. What was I about to say? Let me uh, follow the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the Temperance, Archangel Michael, the Magician, and the Page of Swords. This is somebody who's actually doing some type of magic and then watching the sea. But Archangel Michael is here. I feel like you at peace. Okay? The Magician to the Page of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who's doing some type of magic and then turn around with the Page of Swords and watching to see if you affected by it in any way. No, you're not. Okay? You two tap in, you already know what somebody is doing. That's why spirit is saying everything is temporary. Okay. <clears throat> What's the full part? That's why that protection card came back out like that. I knew it was something. What's the full part? So whoever this person is that you decided to, you know, move on from, cut out your life, they feel like a fool. So they trying to project energy your way. Eight of Swords. And this is somebody who wants you to feel trapped like you're in your head. The lovers. This is somebody who wants to trap you. Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. Somebody wants to make you one of their options or something. What's the Eight of Swords? Why are the Eight of Swords out here? Because you don't want to be one of their options. What's the Eight of Swords? Or one of their means? You're not about to... You're not about to go on their side so things can go right. No, you stay on the light. Eight of Swords. <laughs> yeah. Page of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're deciding to move forward and focus on your career and your business. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person wasn't expecting this change of you. There's somebody, that's why they in their feelings, because they this somebody you was in a connection with. Okay, um, they wasn't expecting you to change, okay? They wasn't expecting this change. You definitely 
went through some type of awakening with the you know, went through awakening uh, with the eleven eleven. Maybe this person is used to what you know, you guys um a certain cycle, you know, but something changed. Okay. Uh what's this? The eight of wands. Yeah, something is happening quickly. Um the four of cups. Yeah, I feel like like I said, you're very calm. You're doing yoga, a lot of meditation, but you're very calm. You chilling. Um I feel like there's something that's happened for you quickly. You know, you could have definitely moved away from this energy quickly after you found out what was going on. But there's somebody who wants to communicate with you, they want to talk to you. They don't want to feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. I feel like you someone is who just focused on your career and enjoying your peace. Okay? And it's just like because of that, you know, give me a card on the eight of wands. It's like it's making somebody the justice card. It's like is the justice to the five of cups. Somebody feels like something is not fair. Yeah, they feel like something is not fair. What's the eight of wands? Because you what you don't want to talk to them or you know. So what they, they what they doing is projecting and you know, projecting that type of energy that they definitely won't make you you don't want to think about someone or call or speak to them, you know? It's like somebody trying to disturb somebody's peace. With the temperance of the magicians, I feel like Archangel Michael is definitely protecting you from whatever this magic is. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody could even be watching you at work or something could be going on at work. Or, um... This could be somebody who you know, you you once worked with, with this community. Maybe this is somebody you, you shared the family with. Okay, but we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This is you working. You know, got your head down, focused on work. Whatever you do, you're very skilled at it. You're very creative with this paintbrush and this Tashi paint and this Pentacle. I just feel like you're working on yourself, Sunseeds, and you focused on work. You know the things that make you happy. Um, I feel like whatever you do for work, it brings you a lot of joy. Um, it's a way for you to bring out, you know, your creative side with the, cause I'm watching how she looks like she's just painting this pedicle. Um, but yeah, the six of wands is, this is you getting attention, rewards, accolades, praise, recognition. And someone is just like, oh, it's like a cry baby. You're not giving me any attention. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna project, you know, like this is like this is mean this is mean you know but like i said it's dark in the world and it's light and you know with duality you know you need both i don't feel like none of this can affect you in any type of way but make you stronger because we have the shirt part here next to the nine of pentacles i just feel like you might feel like you know it's just annoying at this point it's annoying you know um someone just real bitter you know so we have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, you're leveling up. Six of Wands. Something is definitely about to, you know, come in for you. Or, or a lot of you guys could be already in this position. But others of you guys with the Wheel of Fortune being here with eight, eight, eight surrounding it. You're on the good side of karma. So that is awesome. That's great. Somebody else feels like it's not fair that they're stressed out. They're in their emotions. And you're just over here at peace, doing what you love. And, you know, <laughs> they over here, look, I even see this. And they over here, the damn tower. The tower, to the, the two of pinnacles, um, juggling, um, can be feeling like their life is, you know, have, you know, um, in, um, balance. And yeah, the two of swords to the devil, oh, shall. The empress, the knight of wands. This person is obsessing over you. Mm -mm. What's this? This person is really obsessed with you. I don't know who y'all cut out y'all like. Okay? But someone is real bitter. Like I said, real bitter. Queen of Swords, man, old female. This person's a liar. They're bitter. Um, real cool, nasty, mean. Okay? Yeah. I feel like it's a cold, bitter me person. And they just 
do stuff and then they watch you to see if it's working. It's like, it's annoying at this point. But Ar Ar Archangel Michael is definitely here. Um, can I have a card on the King of Cups? Who is this person that, I mean, this is somebody who want to be with you. With the King of, with the King of Cups to the Two of Cups, somebody want to be with you. Yeah, Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. Ooh, yeah. The Hermit. The Four Pinnacles. Somebody is holding on to you. Just somebody... Somebody is holding on to you. Seven of Wands. Ten of Wands. The Queen of Cups. Like, what the heck? Something is just a burden. Yeah, that's why it's blocked from your energy. Queen of Cups, the Justice, the Sun card. Yeah, you're about to get justice for the situation. Yeah, you're about to get justice for the situation because what this person is doing is like, it's not fair at all. And it's being blocked. The Ten of Wands and then the Seven of Wands, it's being blocked. I feel like whoever this is, somebody, you just stand in your, you know, you set up boundary with this person and you stand in your ground. And somebody does not like that. The Hermit to the Four Pinnacles person is like trying to hold on to you. Oh, I didn't even know we got that far already. <laughs> I I not want to make this even really long for so a but it's definitely straight to the point. Okay. With the lovers at this team, so you could have definitely made a choice. Just, like I said, to choose something else. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. King of Swords, Nine of Wands, the High Friend, Page of Cups. This person is like this is somebody who does not want to give up on you. Okay? The high friend. This could have been somebody you was married to or just in a commitment with, had a family with. Um, you could have divorced this energy and this person still bothers you even though you got a divorce, like, <laughs> but some of you guys, as quickly as you married this person, as, as quickly as it can, like, somebody don't, mm -mm, what's the magician? For some of you guys, you weren't married, you just was in a commitment, what's the magician? Five of Wands, the Tower, this person is competing with you. They want to cause drama and conflict. This is sad. What's the tower? The tower is a nine of wands. It's like somebody, somebody feels like their life is going down and they want yours to, but they feel like you two at peace, you two at, yeah. Three of swords, three of pinnacles. It's like, because things around them are not working for them and then they, they look up and they see you happy and at peace and they want you to feel the same type of way, but you don't, okay? Spirit is say everything is temporary. Whatever pain you felt or whatever this person put you through, that is temporary. Our Angel Michael was here with this candle magic and projection, okay? You could have definitely was being guided with that chariot. It says you belong here with this taxi, just being guided to move away, away from this energy. For some of you guys, of course, town. Give me another card on the town with not a one. Yeah, ten of swords. Something is over with. Five of pentacles. Something is completely over with the lovers. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you made a choice to decide to end something. Um, put your foot down, okay? Um, whoever you ghosted with the five of pentacles to the lovers, this is somebody who's just not taking rejection very well. What's the lovers? One more. How can I make it up? Whoever you go, <laughs> eight of cups, the hermit. Yeah, six of cups. Okay. Could be somebody you share children with. Um, six of cups. Also, it could be, you know, like I said, somebody who from your past who wants to reconcile with you. There's somebody who don't want to see you with nobody else with the Ace of Cups being here. Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. A lot of people are attracted to you. Like I said, it's their light. Okay. Um, you could be having a lot of options at this time. A lot of people who ask you out want to take you out. You know, you could definitely get a lot of offers. You know, um, your energy is very attractive. But somebody from your past who you walked away from, um, that's reminiscent about you, just somebody feels like you belong to them and you don't. Six of Swords, you don't. You moved the hell away. I can't make it up. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the truth. You moved away. 
Three of Wands. Yeah. This is you looking towards your future. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups. I feel like you're going to be celebrating. I see your business doing well. You looking good, smelling good, you know? Mm-hmm. Three of Cups, the Judgment, the Star. Yeah, you're listen. This is you, this is you being guided. This is guidance. The start to the judgment, that's guidance from above. Yeah. You didn't do nothing but what you was, you know, called to do. And somebody who's trying to hold on to your energy, four pinnacles, king of pinnacles, two of pinnacles, the hangman, six of pinnacles. Yeah, you're not giving to someone. The death card, that is over with. And they in regret. They throw some type of way, five of swords, so they shoot you the evil eye, the emperor, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. I feel like you focused on yourself on whatever you invested in and you love it. And somebody knows that somebody, somebody don't even, somebody jealous. Ten of Cups. Anyway, we're gonna move right along. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me some signs for the collector. Please and thank you. We have Leo, first card out. We have Scorpio. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. We have Taurus. Give me more. Give me more. Thank you. Aquarius. <laughs> we have belief, brother. Any more signs? Any more signs? We have Aries. One more. And we have Cancer. And under the bottom, we have Virgo. Okay. 